women. The women say that you're good. Yeah, fine, fantastic. Ready? Yeah. They like. Do you think you could be better? I can do it. Just but one second. Testing. Do you know Matthew? Matthew? No. The new teacher that we have at the gym? Matthew? He's no. Brazilian. He's a dance teacher. Ah, Matthew. Matthew. I don't know him, but I've heard of him. Okay. So, did you watch the Obama speeches that I sent you? No. Okay. But here you have the link. But they know. Okay. So, there's a video that you can watch where it has examples of all the things that Obama does, okay? This made him President of the United States. People liked the way he spoke. Some people say he's all presentation and no substance. Maybe that's true. I don't know. He did Obamacare, which is not a thing. But anyway, there's n not many people doubt that he's an excellent speaker. Okay, read this. You may not be able to speak like Obama. You may not even want to speak like Obama. After all, the shortest way to sound... Cut your tongue. The, the shortest way to, to sound fake or funny is... Phony. Phony. What's that mean? Fake. Uh, phony. Sonoro. One second. As to... Is to imitate someone else, even someone who's speaking your advice. Personally, I don't like all the biblical references he makes, and I wouldn't do it, but I worked for him, so who am criticized? Who am I? Who am I to criticize? Criticize. 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 How's that? But, Whatever you think of Obama, you can learn from the world. Whatever you think of Obama, pause. Think of your chunks. But whatever you think of Obama, you can learn from the way Obama speaks in order to influence and inspire your audiences. Whether you are an ambassador, an ambassador selling your eco-friendly company marketing... Uh, sorry. Okay, comma. Whether you are an ambassador... Pause. Selling your eco-friendly company marketing. Eco-friendly. Eco-friendly compa company marketing services, or your client, client clients, or your clients case as a lawyer in court. As a lawyer. As a lawyer. As a lawyer. As a lawyer. You're saying culo o un abogado. Culo no. Como. As. As. No culo no. As. As a lawyer. As a lawyer. That's it. As a lawyer in court. Okay, so first thing, don't copy. Be yourself, your best self. Now, what am I doing? What have we got here? Sorry? In this title, what artistic thing have we included? We've got a couple of artistic things in this title. What? tricks are we doing in the way that the title is written? What do you notice in this title? That you should be natural. One, you have repetition. You see? Be yourself. Your Second best. repetition with an extra thing, your best, best self. self. Okay. Two, we have alliteration. What is alliteration? I don't know. Alliteration is the rhyme with the beginning of the words. It's repeti repetition of the consonant sound. So the people who are good at speaking will use this. And you think, oh, he sounds really good. And you think, but you don't think, why? But they do this. So look, you've got B and B. And we've also got repetition. We've also got a rhyme. Look, be yourself, be your best self. That rhymes, no? Be yourself, be like your pony and homie, or something. Be yourself, be your best self. So, when you have this, you have two things, and you have to be able to do one 
And then the second one, do it differently. Go up or different or whatever. Try it. The way you want my... Try, try the title. Try and give me some better public speaking. Give me some added value. Make it more interesting. See what you can do. Be yourself. Your best self. Okay. Be yourself. Your best self. Be yourself. Your best self. Why not? You see what I mean? Yeah. Okay. The way Obama speaks is very much like the way he presents himself in interviews and an scripted conversation. That's because there is no way to separate who he is from what he communicates. Obama comes comes across comes across comes across a mesh as measure measured measure measured measure me so look at me measure measure measured measure past tense measure measured measured plur uh, third third person singular plural measures 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 okay the the trick is not to imitate Obama's style but to inject, inject your own character values personality experience and style into every and style into every speech you give okay so we've got a list how many things in the how many things in the list in the list in the list character values personality experience and style okay now give me that list a bit more interesting give me a cool list character values i have to repeat do it any way you want character values personality experience and style okay Yeah, why not? You can do them all the same, you can do them differently. Yeah. Try and think about each one when you say it. So try and make the way you say it sound like what you're saying. No, values. This is serious, no? Values. Mm -hmm. Then maybe style is more glamorous, no? Yes, yes. So try try to make the way you sound say the word res relate to the way it's meaning this will make what you do not just random but when you say something to them in english it will have a better message no? okay but but uh, to inject to inject your own character by Character, values, experience, and personal, and values and personality, personality, experience, and style into every speech you give. 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 Okay. Okay. Now we have one, two, three. Think one, two, three. Speak for one. Or maybe for or, or maybe all. Speak for one or maybe all all of three reasons. 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 Has it? Set set. In in most of his speeches. Obama refrains from going into a great deal of details. 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 How do you pronounce the S? Details. That's because he knows that his role. As How do you pronounce the S? That is because he knows. Knows. He knows that. How do you pronounce this S? Together. A Z. 
he knows that he's wrong. Here, how do you pronounce the Z S? Because, because he knows. You said knows. Because he knows. <laughs> Make it sound natural. Because <laughs> you you're going because he knows. Because because he knows. <laughs> you're tired. Because he knows, I know she's S or Z. You tell me. Knows, Z. What does no end in? S. A vowel. Knows. So everything that ends in a vowel in the past tense is what? Is what? Z. S. In the past tense. So, let's have a look. Let's take a word that you may not know. Yes. Moo. Moo. What does that mean? I don't know. Mm. Okay, like a cow. I see. So, we take a word you've never seen before. In the past tense, it will be? Moody. Moody. No, mood. And how do you pronounce that D? Mood. It actually is E D, mood. Because mood means mood. ambiente. And mood means that the cow made that noise. But these are the same. Mood. So that if something ends in a vowel sound in the past tense, how do you pronounce the past? Moody. Mood. 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 That's it. And in the third person singular? Moods. Ah, moods. Moods. Uh huh. And here we have? Moods. Which is the same? No. Moods. Moods. So which one's which? Moods. Moose. So this one is? Moose. No, this is moose. Moose. And this is? Moose. No, this is moose. This is moose. <laughs> Mickey moose. Mickey mouse. This is moose, as in chocolate moose. 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 No, this is moose. Moose. And this is? Moose. That's it. And this is? Mouse. Yes. So. Moose. Mouse. 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 Moose. Mood. Mood. Ah. Mood it. No. Mood. Mood. What's the difference between this one and this one? It is an adjective. It is a word. In the sound. Mood. Mood. This is a the, noun, the, the mood. The Moody is the adjective. What's the difference in the sound? Mood. I don't know. No difference. And that when it's no difference in the sound, what's it called? Um, Do you remember we looked at this? Homo. Homophone. Homophone. Yes. This is. This is not something they sell in Chweka for talking via WhatsApp. Hmm. No? Homophone. <laughs> no? Homophone. It's not a special pink telephone. No. Huh? So, it's something that sounds the same. And sound sounds the same. Homo, homosexual, homophone, homogeneous. No? Homogeneous. Okay. So, start the sentence again. In most of his speeches, Obama refrains from going into a great deal of details. 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 That, that's, that's because he knows that his role as leader is primarily... Isn't? Isn't primarily... Primarily. Primarily to communicate information. His role as leader. 
he served as leader and just he served as leaders and just is you a leader or a space to be one is one is two. And then the following things. So when you speak, are you like Obama? In this sense or not? Do you have to give information or do you have to show the direction? Like Obama. You just have to show the direction, you don't have to go oh, into detail. I'm not following you. That they're receiving information. You have to give information, not just the general direction. Yes. Okay. So, when Obama speaks, he does different things. First of all, Identify the audience. Identify. Uh, sorry, identify the audience. Audience. Audiences. One second. 